Good morning, my little nerds. I am so excited to be with you today. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City, and I am so, so pumped. First of all, Adele's single has been playing on repeat and has inspired the eyeliner look, whether or not I have succeeded, TBD. But um, I hope it's something different than my usual flat face. Okay. Today, my friends, we are doing a Let's Get Intimate video because it is time. Time to combine all of the exfoliating acids into one video that's gonna help you, help yourself. So I hope you guys will find this video very informative, educational, and helpful, and ding, light bulb moment, make you understand why maybe something isn't working very well for you, and how to make yourself and your skincare better. So let's dive in. Acids. Ooh, acids. Acids sound terrifying. Everybody thinks they are an acid expert. When I recorded my series on acid a year ago, very interesting enough, I remember saying I think they're one of the most underrated ingredients out there in the skincare world because they're undervalued. But over the past year, it's incredible to see how many people have been damaging their skin, skin barrier and ripping their skin off with acids, actually way overdoing it. So I take it back, I take it back, I take it back because you guys have way overdone it. It's like you give you a tiny millimeter and you guys take off the whole arm. You know, it's, I don't even know, you guys pedal to the metal, metal to the pedal, whatever that expression is. You went from zero to a bajillion, you know, in less than one second and you threw your rear view mirror out in the process. It's unbelievable how many patients I have seen this past year whose skin barrier has been completely stripped. I don't know if it's the pandemic. I don't know if you guys have all decided you're your own chemists and scientists and whatnot. And all of you guys are like, I'm going to exfoliate and buff my skin into nothingness. Um, but you're doing it wrong. Acids are a chef's kiss ingredient to add to your skincare routine on a weekly basis. And that is the key, not on a daily basis or even twice a day. There's a brand I love called Biologique Recherche, but every time I have a patient using their product, they're being told to use it morning and night. Are you out of your minds? Out of your minds. You're going to burn your face off and age faster in the process by causing all this inflammation and oxidative stress. So, Let's take a step back and understand, first of all, what are exfoliating acids and what do they do? Exfoliating acids do exactly what they say, they exfoliate. But not everything with the word acid is an exfoliating acid, i.e. my BFF for life, hyaluronic acid. It's not an exfoliating acid. So not everything acidic is exfoliating. So that's number one. Number two, how do they work? They break up the glue holding up the cells on the most superficial layer of your skin, also known as the stratum corneum. And this is sort of a diagram of what your skin layers look like. So the top highest part of the skin, stratum corneum, is where the dead skin cells sort of just flop and stay and eventually flake off like boom, 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 boom. And as they're falling off, they can sometimes stick a little bit longer. Like, I don't wanna let go, I don't wanna let go, you know? And as they're stuck onto your skin, you can start looking dull, and rough and just ugh in the process, especially in winter and in fall when the air is drier and these little mother effers of these dead skin cells just don't wanna come off your face. And so this is where an exfoliating acid can help break those little bonds between those dead skin cells on the most superficial layer of your skin, releasing them and giving you a fresher, smoother, brighter base, okay? The other bonus is that because they get rid of all of that noise superficially on a microscopic level, they help your other products work better for you. And third of all, some of them even allow for collagen production to get boosted in the process, which I'll get into in a second. So that's why I love acids. Anything amazing also comes with a big negative. Like what's that expression? With great power comes great responsibility, right? Because their great power comes at the deficit of over exfoliating. And when you over exfoliate, you strip your skin barrier. When your skin barrier is stripped, it gets red, inflamed, prone to breakouts, and you get oxidative stress in the process, which can contribute to premature aging. So you gotta be careful. 
and it can also make you oilier. If you are somebody who already is oily to begin with, right? And you start over exfoliating, trying to get into those sweat glands, oil glands, you name them. Your body can think then that it's actually dry. And so it can try to overcompensate, being like, oh, I'm actually normally oily and now my skin seems a little bit dry. I'm going to make more oil. So you can get a little bit oilier in the process. So that's why over exfoliating counterintuitively can make you oilier. So before I jump into the three main categories of acids, number one, always, 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 I say exfoliate at night. After taking the makeup off and cleansing your face, before any serum and moisturizer, because you want to get the day off. Number two, you always, 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 always follow up exfoliating acids with sunscreen the next morning. Obviously, you have to wear sunscreen every day. But if you're somebody who's like, eh, 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 I don't want to wear sunscreen, just wear it the days after you exfoliate because exfoliating is going to make you more sun sensitive. Okay? Just wear the damn sunscreen already. Just wear it. Okay? It's not that hard. Um, so let's jump in. There are three main categories of acids, starting with the first letter of the alphabet, alpha, AHA, alpha hydroxy acids. Within alpha hydroxy acids, we have three types of acids, ranging from smallest size to largest size. The smallest size being glycolic acid, followed by lactic acid, and then mandelic acid, within this order. Glycolic acid is um, my personal favorite. It's my favorite child. Just don't tell those other two out there, because not only is it good for people with dry skin, it is the smallest one and therefore can penetrate the deepest and help with collagen production in the process. So glycolic acid is one of those one-two punches that helps exfoliate your skin, allows your products to work better for you, but in the background is sort of helping you help yourself. It's that friend you need who you don't even know is helping you in the background. I love glycolic acid. If you're extremely sensitive, however, I will say approach with caution because it can be a little bit irritating, especially because it's so small and it goes so deep. Now, if you have more pigmentation issues, then lactic acid, which actually is derived from milk, goes more superficially and has less effects overall, but helps to even out skin tone. And it mostly helps with brightening. And the last one is mandelic acid. And mandelic acid is the biggest one of the AHAs. And therefore, if you're super sensitive and you want to try an AHA, maybe try mandelic acid first because it will not go that deep. It is also fat soluble. The other two are more water soluble, but because mandelic is fat soluble, you can also use it if you also have oily skin. So if you're oily and sensitive, you might wanna try mandelic acid. AHAs as a whole make you more sun sensitive. Definitely follow up with sunscreen. I've already said it. I'm gonna repeat it again because you can't repeat it too much because I'm surprised that even after, after how many times I've said it, people still don't listen to me. Shh, because <laughs> I'm in the middle of a deep dive. Reservation, I'm in the middle of a deep dive. I will answer you later. Um, but yeah, so I think you can definitely use um, mandelic acid if you have oily, acne-prone skin, but follow them all up with sunscreen, okay? Let's quickly do a couple roundup of products that I like, starting with glycolic. Love this one by L'Oreal, it's 10%, all right? When you're talking about exfoliating acids, especially AHAs, you want the pH usually to be less than four, and the concentration to be anywhere between 4 to 10%. That's what you're going to find over the counter. At the doctor's office, it will be a little bit higher. And there are some stronger acids out there that have a higher concentration than 10%. Um, but they can be irritating and should not be used too often. All right. But this one is 10%. I say three to four times a week at night after you wash your face before your serums. If it's too strong, Paula's Choice has a really nice one at 8% AHA. I actually really like it. But you know where I really like to use this one? Don't tell Paula, but on my feet. I swear to God, I like to use this one on my feet before I moisturize. I stand on my feet all day, and so the pressure points of my feet get a little bit hardened, and this baby has helped soften them up throughout the years. And then I've recently discovered this one by Gly uh, not Glycolic, La Roche Posay. It's their Glycolic B5 serum. First of all, like all of them, they come in a, it comes in, like all of them, they come in a stupid dropper. Ugh, but it stinks. It doesn't smell very nice. It smells very vinegary acidic, but it's that. Last, I would say lactic acid wise, Kate Somerville's Exfolicate is nice. So is Good Genes by Sunday Riley. These are two lactic acids that have been tried and true and I've never had problems with. And if you're looking for a mandelic, I've mentioned last time there is one by Allies of Skin that you guys can see and use as well. 
Oh, you guys also always talk about Dr. Dennis Gross, his peel pads. He has these two peel pads, um, which are the daily peel pads. I don't use them daily, but they're not bad. Okay, there's a lot of wastage to them, and that's why I get annoyed. All right, moving on to BHAs. BHAs are beta hydroxy acids. These babies are oil soluble. So if you are a oily, oiled up, sleeky, oily machine um, who's acne prone as well, you want to look for a BHA. And everybody thinks of their childhood salicylic acid, this one by Neutrogena. I will give you a tip. Do not just use it on your face to wash off directly. Apply it to your face, let it sit for five minutes, and then wash it off. Face washes with actives have always confused me because your actives end up down the drain. And so if you are going to buy a face wash with an active, make sure you let it sit on your face for a couple of minutes before washing it off. Um, this is the one exception where I say it's a very fine line between balancing how often you exfoliate. Glycolics, AHAs, I said three to four times a week. Salicylic acid, definitely not twice a day, but if you are on the oilier side, this is one you can probably use once a day. And because it's a wash and it has a very short contact time with your skin, you can definitely get away with it once a day at night after washing the whole day off, etc. cleaning your face. And in the morning, follow it up with water. Really rinse your face and your skin with water. Um, it has anti-inflammatory benefits and a fun fact, it is derived from the willow bark and that is the active form of aspirin, hence its anti-inflammatory effects. So there's that one by Neutrogena. I think Paula's Choice also has one. Now, The Ordinary decided to go on steroids <laughs> and create an AHA 30%, BHA 2% solution. The pH of this is correct at 3.6, but this will rip your face off. All of you guys on TikTok out there, please stop doing this every week, like several times a week your face is getting effed up, okay? And I mean, we can be doing a lot of other fun stuff in my office rather than talking about your damaged skin barrier. So please stop doing this so, so often, maybe once a week if you wanna do a deep one, but you really don't need to be doing it every day by any means, okay, at all. Which leads me to formulation of anything is always king all right, or queen. Um, it's not just about the ingredients and the percentages within the products. It is how it's formulated. Oftentimes, people also believe that if it's not tingling or I don't feel something right away, it's not working. But that is a false sense of reassurance because a lot of products out there put in sensorial effects for you to believe that it's working better or faster for you. And in fact, it's just a sensorial aspect of the product that's actually delivering niente. So, don't be fooled so much by the sensorial aspects of products, but if your, fit, if your face feels like it is burning on fire or tingling immediately with use, I would suggest you take it off and wash it off and then stop and assess your skin, see how it responds. And if you really feel like trying it again, you can try it a few days later. All right, finally, PHAs, polyhydroxy acids. These ones are the ones that are still under the radar quite frankly, which I'm still surprised by, but they are the ones for the sensitive souls. So if you are super sensitive and you want to try another type of acid, look for the PHAs. They are the cousins of the AHAs and they pretty much sound the same. There is glucanolactone, which is glycolic acid's cousin. It is a humectant. It loves to attract water and it protects your face from free radical formation. So it's great in the winter time. I love it in the winter time because it's going to hold on to the moisture into your skin. It's going to protect your face in the process and it's great to do at night. So this one is one by Indeed Labs. It is a gluconolactone. They call it a toner. Exfoliating acid would have been my preference because toner, like we know, is just a category that means nothing. But this one exfoliates and I would say you can use this three to four times a week at night. I'm just curious what the ingredient directions say. You see here they say use daily in the AM or PM after cleansing. I disagree. I think three to four times a week is more than enough, definitely after cleansing and mostly only at night. So that's glucanolactone. Um, then you have lactobionic, which is also really good for large pores and pigmentation. It is the cousin of lactic acid um, and it is not bad. If you're super scared, look for a product with maltobionic acid because it is the largest one of the bunch. So even more geared towards those with sensitive skin and it is the gentlest one out there. So if you really want to dip your toes in the acid pool, then multibionic acid is your baby. Like I said, Ola Henriksen has this baby fat one, which is still a beautiful product. I still stand by it. Um, and Zellens has this PHA plus peel pad. So if you're on the go and you have a, you're actually back on the air again and traveling and you can't take something so big, 
this might be a nice option to take for a travel trip. There are acid combinations, and I mentioned one by The Ordinary. Drunk Elephant also has their TLC Sakura Baby Facial Acid. Do that just once a week. I'll grab it right now. I'm actually curious what the directions say. Hold, please. Please hold while I go to the Pillow Talk Germ Library. Actually, why don't I bring you guys with me to the Pillow Talk Germ Library? So, my friends, we are going to go into the closet together. And over here, we have... It's, an, it's alphabetical order. <laughs> Organizational issues. The TLC Sakura Baby Facial. And I want to see what's written on the box because I keep it. I'm nuts. I'm a nut job. Use oh, I, I appreciate this. I go drunk elephant. Use once a week. Yes, once a week. Apply even layer to skin, dry skin, and leave on for 20 minutes. Like I said, maybe you can keep it on a little bit longer if you can tolerate it. Um, I think you use this at night. I really do think that at night works better versus the day. All right. Bravo, drunk elephant proud of you guys for not saying throwing your product in everyone's face telling them to use it a million times a week or a day all right and with that um i am dr shireen idris a cosmetic dermatologist based in new york city i hope you guys love this video i hope you guys will find that this video is going to help you help yourself and i hope that you guys are going to stop over exfoliating because it's enough everything in life is about a balance no extreme is a good extreme and with that I'm out. <laughs> That's my eyeliner. I was using Anastasia tattoo liner. <sniffs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next Saturday. <sighs> this phone has not stopped. Have a good day.